Well, we continue to follow what's happening in London. Police declaring the explosion on that train, a terrorist incident. Amy Kellogg in London right now with the very latest. Amy, good morning. Lauren and Cheryl, there was an explosion on a subway train, the tube they call it here in London at about 8.20 this morning. There have been injuries. Police are calling it a terrorist incident after initially uh, refusing to pass comment or judgment until a little bit more uh, investigation was carried out there in the Parsons Green area of London. The injuries, to the best of our knowledge, are uh, some facial burns and some injuries resulting from pushing and shoving as people created the stampede to get out of the station. It, uh, the train was at, on an overground portion of the journey when this occurred. People needed to take stairs to get out of the station and onto the street. The entire area, as you can imagine, has been cordoned off. Police have said very little except they're calling it a terrorist incident and they are confirming that there were injuries. We've been relying on a lot of eyewitness reports with one person saying she saw a bag, heard a bang, and then there was a flash. Uh, a fire was ultimately uh, the result of this explosion, and a lot of the focus is on a white plastic sort of builder's bucket that was seen in the corner of the train that is believed to have been the genesis or the point where the explosion occurred. It was in an insulated bag, and it had some wires coming out of it. Now, London is no stranger to attacks, terrorist attacks, uh, but also attacks on the transportation system back in 2005, July 7th, there were three coordinated bomb attacks on subway trains and then one on a bus. Two weeks later, a copycat attack, which didn't, uh, which didn't work mercifully, but the previous one did lead to 52 deaths. Uh, in the last year, there have been a number of terrorist attacks in the United Kingdom, several in London, often now, as we've seen, involving trucks or vehicles being driven into crowds. Uh, this is something we haven't seen in a while, an explosion on a uh, public transportation vehicle, a train. And uh, so obviously there is a lot of panic and will be some jittery people over the course of the coming days and weeks as police carry out the investigation. They are trying now to assess the nature of the injuries and uh, of course we are waiting to hear numbers and exactly what happened to the people who were affected on this train car but as far as we know there were no warnings of this it was just a, a shock announcement uh, as it broke on the news at 8:20 this morning that there had been an explosion on the district line uh, as a train pulled into the station at Parsons Green just sort of west of Chelsea not too far from Wimbledon in London, Cher uh, Cheryl and Lauren. Amy, any word on if they're getting some of the surveillance video from the station to see who would have carried that bag with the bucket with the bomb in it onto the train? Well, and in the pictures, we're seeing the bag, and there was um, there was a label "Little" on the bag, which is a chain store here. So, presumably, it will be uh, possible to to locate that moment or the person who carried that bag on unless of course it was hidden inside something else but this city is famous for its uh, proliferation of CCTV cameras throughout the city and particularly in the public transportation network and it's been common in the past that police have been able to track suspects from CCTV so I wouldn't want to speculate on whether or mm -hmm. not that will happen in this case but certainly they would be working on that right now as we speak. Amy Kellogg from the Fox News Channel, live in London for us this morning. Amy, thank you.